so I just picked up my packages because I ordered some seeds from Seeds Now. I put a link in there when I was talking about ordering from uh, another video that I posted. But no one really watched that one. And I was talking about how I ordered some seeds. And I would say this is the biggest seed haul that I've ever ordered online at one time. Because the only other really big seed haul I ever did. Well, I always do. My seed hauls are pretty big. But I did a huge one a while, like last year at, I think it was last year or the year before at Home Depot. Because they had a sale for like a dollar or something on seeds. So I bought a bunch of them. But I keep showing back and forth all these seeds. And if you're wondering what those are, those are lids to a meal prep container. And I just put them there to hold them so you can see them. Because like, look at all these seeds. And that's like the biggest pile right there. But I was so shocked. I ordered so many seeds. And if you're wondering what this blue thing is that looks weird and why they're at an angle, that's a bean bag. Because this is just a quick video I started doing because I just got home and I wanted to do a video about this before I forget. But I saw these and I, I was so happy because I was on there because I've seen seeds now. And then I was like, oh, these seeds seem kind of expensive and I don't know. But then on Black Friday, I started looking because I was, I thought I had a Black Friday sale. No, uh, I didn't get a Black Friday sale. It was just an everyday thing. And I guess why I never bought anything on there before, but I would always look because they always had a good variety. And most of the stuff that I bought is lettuce. I bought lettuce. Yeah, that's lettuce. Oh, that's marigold. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is a straight eight cucumber seed starter. That's cool. I didn't buy that though. Uh, I don't think I did. Oh yeah, that's free seed. Uh, I have marigold. I have lemon mint. I've never seen lemon mint. I don't think I've seen lemon mint unless I got it from Baker Creek. I have marigold. Cre oh, I bought cress. Yeah. Um, lovage. I'm not sure what some of this stuff is, but I've heard of it. And I was like... Oh, I should get some. Oh, these things keep falling. That's a seed starter. Uh, and then they gave me a 20% discount, and that's some more lettuce. 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 Yeah, because I, I want to grow a lot of lettuce, so I don't have to buy lettuce. Uh, ba lemon basil. I think I have some, but I can never get basil to grow. So I'm going to try a new seed. Yeah, that's all lettuce and like a basil. And over here, this lettuce. Uh, I bought some chamomile. Oh, and this was a green tomato. I thought I'd try it, but I don't know if I'll actually pick it. Uh, green, it might end up going bad because I don't really label my plants. And if I don't know what it is, I might think it's an unripe tomato and some more lettuce. Lettuce. Some of these, uh, cause I had to get 50 for free shipping. So some of these, and then shipping's not that much. It's like $5 for shipping. Uh, and that's some German chamomile. I, I should have checked for stevia. I didn't think about that. Because I would love some stevia to plant some stevia. And then this is a cucamelon. Oh, that says West India. Uh, romaine, romaine red, and an eggplant. So I picked up a lot of these. What was that? Oh, that, uh, I saw what that was. Oh, that was on the end of my stuff because I was opening other stuff. And I had like a bowl and some cough drops and like six stuff for the fall. And that was right there. And then some uh, something that's in a bag and my laundry stuff and more stuff I bought from Amazon. Yeah, that's over there because I'm just doing a video on this stuff. But this was by far one of the best seed hauls. And these aren't small seed packs. And these packs cost me anywhere from 2 to two fifty. I think I might have paid $3 for maybe a few of the lettuces if I like them a lot. But mainly 2 to $3. And then some of them because I need to get to 50 So I bought some ones that I liked that I knew I liked that were a dollar. And some I wanted to try that were a dollar. And some of these were $0.50. Cents. And I'll just dump all these on here so you can get an idea of all of these. Yeah. All of these seeds, I bought, uh, I don't know, I'd say at least 25 or 30 packs of seeds, it looks like. That one was free, so.
So I've had 27 uh, seeds that I bought. 27 different ones. And then they gave me this one, the cucumbers. So it's 27. And the chamomile, I think the chamomile costs more. I think that was like three something each for both the chamomiles. And some of the lettuces, most of the lettuces cost around like $2, $2.50. And maybe a few three, but it's 27 for, I paid, where is that thing? Oh, right here. For this, I paid, yeah, because a lot of these I only paid $1.99. Yeah, $1.99 for most of these. Oh, a few of them I paid, hmm. No, I didn't. I didn't pay this much. I think these are supposed to be like the regular prices because I didn't pay this much. I didn't pay $4.99 for anything. I'm too cheap to pay $4.99. Yeah. Because like when I look at the website, they'd show those prices, but you have to look and see those are the regular prices, not the sale prices. Yeah, because I only paid 50 something. And if I paid that full price for these, because they have sales every day of different things because the day after I bought these I almost bought some more but then I was like I'm gonna ration myself because I really want to get these tomatoes from trade ones fruit for next year these long tomatoes and I'm gonna try and grow those yeah because if I paid all of this yeah I would have paid way more because I have 27 different seeds and And according to this, if I would have paid full price, like $30 of this would have been like four of these things. Yeah, because a lot of this was $2. I mean, the only thing I paid more than $2 for that I definitely know I paid two, more than $2 for was the chamomile. Yeah, but that is a lot of stuff. I have all these different, I have at least, I think I have at least 20 plus varieties of salads in here. Oh wait, no, actually not that. I'd say maybe 18 because seven, because I have two different chamomiles. I have like a few other random things like the eggplant, the cucumbers, and a few other things. I think I have like seven different things beyond the lettuce but I have like 20 because I have let's go through a list of everything I have I have a uh, lemon basil German chamomile Roman chamomile cucumber cucamelon eggplant long purple Italian lettuce all year round lettuce blonde de Paris uh let's just go lettuce 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 Lettuce, 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 lettuce. Uh, lovage, marigold, mint, uh, cress, microgreens, and a green tomato. That's everything I got, and it came out to like 50 something. But on the receipt, it doesn't say how much it costs, but they sent me a receipt. And then they sent me, what is this? Oh, some instructions. And then they're very nice. I didn't talk to anyone, but they always send me an email to remind me about them. And, yeah. Yeah, this is Seeds Now. I would say definitely go to Seeds Now. And on my last video, if you watched it, which so far, last time I checked, nobody watched it. I would say go to Seeds Now. Check every day. They have good sales. But the funny thing, um, everything goes on sale at some point and seeds now and if you don't get enough to get free shipping shipping's only like five bucks because i like them and i'm gonna use them again and another one that i like that i'm gonna order some stuff from that i'm really excited for because i want to order it now but i don't know if i want to order it now and i'm still debating um because i'm definitely going to order it uh trade one's fruit that's another one of my favorite that i found online and I definitely want to order from there. That's where a lot of the beans came from. And the beans came from Trade Winds fruit that I'm growing. And the peas that I'm growing, most of those, pretty much all of those, those came from Park Seed. Because Park Seed is another one of my favorites. 
uh, seeds now would have been my favorite more if I would have paid more attention. Because I didn't realize what I was looking at when I was looking at it. Because I was just looking and I didn't see the cheaper prices right away. So I went to Trade Winds Fruit. But Trade Winds Fruit, they don't have sales. Their stuff is just cheap. And I like that. Because there was this other one I was going to order from there. But their stuff is like so expensive. Like everything's like $5 or like around $5. For a pack of seeds, or like four ninety nine, or like three something, like Trade Winds fruit, everything has a different price. At uh, Park Seed, Park Seed, their prices have gone up, but I still will shop at Park Seed. That's one of my favorites too, especially if I'm gonna buy beans or peas. I'm going to Park Seed. Um, if I'm looking for a variety seeds now they have a good variety and i'll definitely go there because you never know what you get like i see uh seeds now it's kind of like you never know what you might get because they have a bunch of stuff and the same thing with trade winds fruit they have a bunch of different stuff you never know what you're gonna get and it's like i love all those because my top ones because I, I still go to the store and buy seeds but if i really want a variety and grow different things because i want to grow like a that's why i bought a bunch of lettuce i'm gonna grow a bunch of different lettuce because i was gonna buy lettuce from trade winds but i'm still i still might buy some but it was like when i saw their tomatoes because i was gonna buy some from totally tomatoes but they're cheap too but uh trade ones had a lot of stuff maybe one day i'll try um totally tomatoes because i've heard about it on i can't think of their name but i think they're in like where are they? I don't know. It's a YouTube channel. I watch, I've been watching them for a long time. And it's like, I don't know why I watch them. Because the only thing that they do that I like is their gardening. Because then they talk about slaughtering animals and all kind of stuff. And it's like, I'm not into slaughtering animals. But this is my video. And I do go to Baker Creek. Like, I'll go into the store. I, I, don't, I haven't ordered online from Baker Creek. But I know they deliver for free. Yeah, because the main seed companies I use, because Baker Creek is, like, not too far away. I just, like, if I go on a North Bay Adventure, I'll go stop in there sometime, like, early in the morning or something. Um, like, right when they open. And, yeah, because I found out that Trade Winds Fruit, they used to have a store, but it's in Windsor. And that's, like, way up there. I, that's like a really special occasion to get up to Windsor because the only way up to Windsor that I know of you either drive there or you go to down I think there's a bus downtown Santa Rosa that goes there I don't know I've never been to Windsor on a bus I've only ever been there in a car and now, like, I'll go up to Petaluma, up there. They have that train. I've taken the train many times, and I've shown a lot of my nature videos from there. Um, and another, I don't know about any other, like, real, but the, the thing in Windsor, they closed their store. I don't know when they closed it, but I looked at it online, and it said Trade Winds Fruit. They closed their store at some point. That would have been a cool store to go to. I like Baker Creek, but I feel like Trade Winds would be way better and more affordable. I'll still go to Baker Creek like every now and then. Like Baker Creek isn't on my like normal everyday. Like if I see a seed, um, it's like I'll think about it twice before I pick it up at Baker Creek. Because Baker Creek, it costs more and you get less. Trade Winds Fruit. If I'm ordering something from there, I don't really think about it. I, actually, I get big orders from Trade Winds Fruit, too, when I get seeds. Except I'll buy, like, two or three orders at a time because I see stuff in, like, Trade Winds. I get, like, so happy when I see stuff that I want to grow. And then I have to remember, I live in an apartment. Yeah, and, like, Trade Winds, I, I love that. It makes me happy. And seeds now they make me happy and park seed my favorite seed companies and because every now and then i find something different that uh baker creek has that they don't have like the mint and the lemon balms those are harder to find and that's something i would go to baker creek for otherwise pretty much everything else i'd go to the other companies for 
Because if the other companies came out with mint and other stuff like that, I probably wouldn't go to Baker Creek. But that's just my little seed haul review chat. And thanks for watching. If you like, watch and subscribe. Bye.